story about a very old aeroplane. An aeroplane that hasn't flown for nearly six years and a bunch of Aussie engineers who got it back in the air. It was a pioneering part of the jet aviation era. Uh, we've got a real love affair with the aircraft. We want to get it back home. It, uh, it is a great looking aircraft. A little bit old in the technology stakes, but other than that, it, uh, it's got its own little charm. It's a little bit like a Connie. This aeroplane is, is not only a part of Australia's heritage, aviation heritage, but it's also world heritage. This is the very first 707 exported out of the USA. It's majestic, it's, it's full bodied, it's, it's uh, such an original design that feels so airworthy. This is what the plane looked like when the engineers did a preliminary survey. Streaked with mildew, it had survived six English winters. The plane had had a number of owners after it was sold by Qantas, finally ending its days as a VIP aircraft for a Saudi Arabian prince. 47 years ago, it was a different story. Qantas joined the jet age in July 1959 with the arrival in Sydney of its first Boeing 707. It was to revolutionise air travel, shrinking the flying time between countries. The 707 became the most important airliner of its day, bringing London within 30 hours and San Francisco 16. Before the 707, Qantas had used propeller-driven Lockheed Constellations on all of its main routes, 